telling you what, the fireworks there are unbelievably spectacular. Just incredible. Yeah. And we need the good weather for that, job. I mean, Jackie, you know, we need the perfect clear skies. It will be, just because Paul's MC. <laughs> and Paul has a really funny story about the Rose Bowl that he has to tell later about his first uh -oh. time there. Uh, <laughs> but in the meantime, I need to tell you about a severe thunderstorm warning. Take a look right now. We did have these cumulus clouds develop just about a couple hours ago, and now we do have a thunderstorm right over the Barstow area. This is over looking Palm Jail and you can see the clouds uh, that have formed and this is all from that moisture that's just off to our east a little bit of instability uh, will produce some showers and thunderstorms so we do have a thunderstorm a severe thunderstorm warning in effect again the cells right around Barstow all the way down to Victorville where we could have some flash flooding so flash flood warnings are in effect through 6 p.m. as well the cell has started to die down the one right around Barstow it is moving to the north at 15 miles an hour, but just to the south, right around Victorville, this is the cell that I'm watching closely now. I'm not seeing any lightning with it, but whenever you've got these darker purple shades, uh, that could be signs of rotation. So we'll keep a close eye on that for you. Uh, but again, we're seeing these fairly stationary, so the other threat will be flooding conditions from those two thunderstorm cells. Uh, the rest of the area, pretty clear, nice weather. Uh, we just got on the tail end of that monsoonal moisture here in the South End, and that's why those thunderstorms developed. But everywhere else, it was a pleasant day today. That marine layer has moved in, and again, that's helping keeping our temperatures down finally after a week with extreme heat. We are finally dealing with temperatures running below average. So we had a high today of 80. 82 is our normal high. Let's take a look at our temperatures outside right now. Uh, still into the 80s and 90s inland, but that sure beats triple digits at this hour that we were dealing with earlier this week. Yeah, the coast, it's nice and comfortable into the 70s. Uh, so that trough of low pressure will deepen and what that will do is continue to bring in the stronger onshore flow and keep our temperatures running below average. And that will continue as we head into the holiday weekend and for your 4th of July. So great news for folks who want to go check out the fireworks. The only exception could be if you are right at the coast, we could have that marine layer move in and that sometimes uh, is a problem to see the fireworks at the beaches. But clouds and fog spreading inland overnight tonight. Overnight lows into the 60s. Look at this at the coast, low 70s. LA and OC metro areas the next seven days, mid to upper 70s. Valleys, how about that? Staying into the 80s through about Thursday, Friday, maybe 90s. Uh, but again, this weather couldn't be any better for the 4th. Back to you. Good Saturday morning. I'm Jackie Johnson, and here is your wake up weather. We do have some clouds and fog out there this morning, but get ready. It's going to be a gorgeous day, sunny skies, and comfortable temperatures. Happy weekend.